Good day YouTube. It is the 12th of March 2024. Welcome back to the shop. Um, today we've made a little bit of room, a little bit of room anyway, because uh, over next to the windows there I had a uh, 1970 John Deere 140H3 been sitting there about six years. I did sell it about a week ago. Um, so it's off to a new home, finish its restoration. Uh, it's just not something I needed anymore. And I sort of lost interest in it. So I moved the old Cushman golf cart into that spot. Cleaned everything up this morning so I could bring in the Acti truck. Hopefully to make a little room for it. And I kind of found myself struggling to get it to fit the space that I had. Um, let me show you a solution though. So I want to be able to turn it sideways in the space that I have. And to be able to move it around... A little bit um, and I always will need to get back here because that's where I store the welders plasma cutters all the metal working tools the lathe and everything everything's on wheels and on carts and such but you know the old 56 trucks still kind of sitting in limbo the 36 trucks taking up a lot of room this step band is kind of taking up a lot of room but right, we need to be able to move the acti truck here's what we got going on check this out <clears throat> I had one of these four-wheel carts left. Everything in that quarter that I just showed you is on wheels, and a lot of them are on these carts. So I had one, um, but I needed two, so I just ran down to Harbor Freight and got another one. These were not on sale today, so they're like 13 bucks or something like that. But you get them on sale closer to $10 if you watch for them. I thought I had a pair, because I had the Cushman Truckster on them, but... Turns out, I didn't. <coughs> I think one of them was going bad, it was old. So we're gonna jack up the back of the Honda. But we're gonna slip these four wheel carts under the wheels, okay? Now, if you've got a big old truck or something, this ain't, this ain't a good idea. These are rated at a thousand pounds, okay? This whole truck is 1,800 pounds. So less than two carts will carry the weight. So there's one. Here's two. And we're gonna let her down carefully. I'm gonna square that up, not that it matters. <clears throat> I guess that might can roll. And put it where I want. You know what I mean? Check this out. And it was inexpensive. Well, what especially was for me because I already had one. And then, you know, when I'm done with them, they'll sit around and I'll find a use for them somewhere. So, that's going to be the end of the video. That's all I really wanted to show you is the Harbor Freight little carts. If you've got something that's not horribly heavy, this is your deal. You're going to work on a rig with it sitting on carts. If you're going to be underneath it, no, don't do that. Jack stands, safety first. But if you need something on wheels to move in any direction, it's not a bad way to go. I've been doing it for a while. Guys, appreciate you watching the video. Thumbs up on the way out, and we'll catch you on the next one. Good day, YouTube. It is the 12th of March, 2024, and this is my 1995 Honda Aki truck. I had it about two months now. Got quite a few videos on it. Got a playlist going for it. If you haven't watched some of the videos, um, I would appreciate go dig them up and uh, have a look. Today is all about uh, decals. So, um... There is only two partial decals left on this vehicle, and they are not readable. The rest of them are gone for whatever reason. Um, I ordered two sets, two different sets that I found on Etsy, and they came from, ready for it, ready for it, ready for it, whoops, right there, Fresh Melon Creations, okay? I also asked if they would include one more 
real-time four-wheel drive in one of the kits because of the layout that I wanted, and they gladly did that at no extra cost. So um, they were 40 bucks a kit. I, again, I bought two different kits, both for uh, Honda four-wheel drive SDX. Not sure why they have two different kits. They probably because the decals were different on you know certain years or something. I liked them both. I bought them both. Um, that's how we did. Here's how I'm going to lay these out. So I've already taken the time to... Um, like, for example, that one is one of the decals that still exists. We'll have to get that off there, obviously. And this is the one that partially exists. And uh, obviously, we have to get that one off of there. Can't read it. So this is how I'm going to lay them out. I'm just going to take you for a walk around. And this is how I'm going to lay them out. And then tomorrow morning, we'll come back and we'll start pulling these. We'll polish up the area where we're going to put the decals. Um, so we don't have to get a buffer anywhere near the new decals once they're on because I haven't had a chance to polish this out yet. Um, and here we go. So the real-time four-wheel drive in this open font is what we're going to put here. That's what it came with. Real-time four-wheel drive on the left of the tailgate. Okay, two decals go here on the right side of the tailgate. And this should be how this vehicle came okay it's a little bigger font but it's going to fit fine on that 350 kilogram weight limit thing and then the acti 12 valve this should, is a pretty good reproduction of what was originally there so once we pull off what's under door number one there's a little left of that um this should be perfect and we're going to get that all polished out before we put them on this gets into what I ordered extra of, this real-time four-wheel drive. Let me get the shadow out for you, because I want to put one on each side, and it only came with one. I'm not sure where that went. Maybe up on the hood did something different up there. Um, these I obviously didn't get from there. I'm going to put my YouTube channel on this truck. It gets quite a lot of attention when it's out and around. It can't hurt my channel to have that on both sides. Of the truck. I want to leave the doors very clean. I like the clean look. Coming around to the front, on the left, this is the other real-time four-wheel drive where I have two of. Um, I ordered one extra because one of the kits didn't come with one. I have two different font styles of ones I put on the sides of the bed, ones I put on the tailgate and the front. I honestly can't remember which one I had them give me an extra of. It's the kit that only came with one this says real-time four-wheel drive. I had them at an extra. The other kit came with two. Okay, got it? This has never had this decal here. I wanted one on this side. On the left side, the Acti SDX. That should be what this vehicle came with. And because I got extra, two of these came, one in each kit. I'm going to put one on the upper windshield because it has the Honda logo. I mean, we do have the Honda emblem but we're gonna have the Honda Acti 12 valve 660 on the front. I haven't centered that or anything. I've just stuck that there. It's probably a good time to take these off. That one's coming off anyway. Okay, I'll go around the other side, but uh, you've seen the right side, the driver's side. Now you can see the left side. So again, same as on the right side, be in the same position and the Glen Speed Shop right there okay all right so I gotta run Autumn my puppy um, to the vet for a checkup and uh, we'll be back on this in the morning see you soon all right boys and girls it is the next day and uh, we need to get started putting decals on so uh, before we put decals on we got to take decals off so I started over here on this left side. Let me set you up a little better. Okay, well, we got to heat the old decals up and peel them off. So it's kind of chilly out. It's like 40 degrees this morning. So we need to heat up all this metal or it's going to take all the heat out of the decal quickly. So here we go. They're not coming off too bad. I've got I've got this much taken off in just a couple minutes.
Again, to be successful, keep all the metal hot in the area of the decal and you'll get more bang for your buck here. It's a little hard, so I went beyond the decal to warm it back up. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Like that. Like that. Pretty good. Scratching on a chalkboard. Alright. Heating up all the metal again. Make this a little easier. Especially beyond it. Right. It's easy to get them started, it's hard to keep them going. Good fingernails. Now we'll heat beyond it again. Pretty good. Right. Got a few straggler pieces. All right, I'll get these uh, couple here on the other side and then we're gonna take some, uh, uh, probably acetone and take these stickers, just to stick them off. That's just the residue. We'll get to stick them off. We'll polish this area up and then go from there. I'll pull these off. I was putting my stickers over where they're going to go that should be an easy one to get off and then that one okay we'll bring you back when i got those clean all right boys and girls we have the decals kind of taped on where they're supposed to be and notice that i have solid tape on the top we're going to kind of use that as a hinge we're going to peel that you know we're going to fold this straight up then we're going to peel the back off and then we are going to place the decal from the top down okay that's how we're going to put the decal on there we go um i did try to bang out a few dings and i see i was only making it worse so you know, there's a ding here a ding there but uh that metal is kind of stretched so it doesn't go back so i'm leaving well enough alone we'll polish over and we may come back and do some touch-ups on those but that is the way it is. So 
I don't have the front stuff done, but I have all the rear stuff done. I may push the truck back, give me a little more room. But these are all ready to stick, okay? So I've matched them pretty well side to side. So left side, right side are the same. Obviously they are going the other way. Um, but I think we're ready to uh, put these down. So let me stick you in a stand and uh, let's start putting these down. Now the kit came with a cup. Well, they each kit came with the uh, little credit card thing here, here. Pretty good little squeegees. Got some flex to it. I like it. So we'll use it. Um, came with a kit. I have used some polish to uh, polish underneath where the decals are going. There's no wax or anything. Nothing to build up. Wiped it down really good. We are ready to go. All right. Put you in a stand. And away we go. Okay. We're using that as a hinge. We're going to peel this off. This is the hard paper backing. Make sure it stays on that front. Ooh, see there? Make sure it stays on that front piece. If you put a good curl in it, you have a better chance. This curling is a key to doing nice decals, both in peeling the backing and peeling this off eventually and sticking the decal to your car. Let her fall. So we're going to hold this straight out. We don't want it to stick prematurely. And then we're going to work the decal down, okay? That's going to keep the air out. No bubbles, right? No bubbles. Work it down. No bubbles. off remember that curling action this is where we're going to keep on curling okay it just keeps things uh, stuck you know we don't want to peel it off this direction we want to peel it this direction there's no way that stuff will slide but there is a chance that you could peel something up okay it's cold out you know it's in the i would say it's mid 40s by now um so this is going to be in the shop here. It's going to warm up later today. We'll come by it and push these down again later when it's warm. But it'll be in the shop here for a week because we got some other stuff planned for this thing before we cut it loose. You'll want to come back for that. There's that curling again. This is the reveal. So when I was trying to get this old decal off of this guy, man, it's a, it's a different sticker than I've run across. Man, it, I was, it wouldn't come off with heat, so I used acetone to the point where I was actually taking the paint off through the decal. Um, the decal was coming off here and there. Finally, I had to quit. It's not great. Hopefully, this covers most of it. Um, it will be what it will be. The only way to get it off was to take all the paint off, and I wasn't going to do that. All right, that's awesome. No bubbles. Let's do this one real quick while we're here. Okay, we're going to use this as a hinge where my tape is stuck below the hinge line. We're going to have to peel a little bit. Peel this back off. Remember the curl, right? That leaves all of the numbers and letters and stuff stuck where they're supposed to be. All right. 
try not to touch the sticker itself, right? Taking some of that paper with it. This new decal is just a little taller than the original. It's okay. This black is where the paint is gone. It was actually a scratch. I might have made it a little worse with the old acetone, but maybe we'll go around this thing and do a million little touch-ups on all the little chips and stuff. Okay, looks good. It is what it is. I got a grease pencil stuff to do away with too. Uh, you want to do another one? Yeah, let's do another one. Move you around. All right, let's do my sticker. My friend Marilyn makes these for me. She's been making me stickers for a long, long time. I just kind of tell her what I want. It's like magic. She did a really good job on these. I like them. I like them a lot. Okay. Take your time. Peel. We'll get this. This could have been one that I cut this back in half. It'd be easier to handle this uh, going in the other direction, but it's easier to get them straight like this. So, it is what it is. We're watching very carefully that I'm not peeling stickers off the front. Doing good. We're doing good. Almost there. One letter to go. There it is. Don't touch your stickers. Okay. It's perfect. All right. Well done, Glenn. Let's take off the tape. Hopefully I get time to polish and wax this whole truck while it's in there. 
That's not what's coming next, though. Stay tuned. Some of you might have a guess based on recent videos. You might know what's coming. Almost. Almost. I'll do this one and then uh, I'll do all the others off camera and I'll bring you back when it's all done. Give you the walk around. That's right. Looking good. All right. Okay. I am going to continue my ways. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, boys and girls, we are done. Looks good, doesn't it? Honda Act DS DX. I did put this one up in the window. It's barely seeable, but I think outside you'll be able to see it. Um, anyway, it, because I bought two sets, I have lots of decals, so I used them. Yeah, looks good, right? Well, again, I wanted to leave the doors clean. We did. The bed's a little beat up anyway, so I uh, decaled it up. Take your eyes away from the defects, no doubt. On the tailgate. Oops, still gotta take my lettering off, don't I? I'll do that. And there was two different uh, decals available for this. I bought them both two of each in the two different kits so this is the other one kind of like that one but they must have been different on different ear rigs anyway and then my other Glen speed shop so guys got the decals done but we got some other cool projects coming up with this while it's in the shop stay tuned for that so thanks for watching the video Please, please, please give it a thumbs up on the way out. Share it with somebody and let this thing be seen by more than just a few hundred people. Let's us grow this thing just a little bit. Got a lot of stuff going on with this truck this summer. I'm glad to have it. Glad you came along to watch this thing be transformed from something very average to something, well, maybe a little above average. And I got to tell you, I posted a picture of a half a dozen John Deere lawn tractors that I had lined up out here in front right before I started selling them off and uh, you could just barely see a shot of this truck in the six John Deere's that I posted on a John Deere page on Facebook and one of the comments today was nice Honda <laughs> anyway that was funny I thought that was funny all right guys we'll catch you on the next video